Hello, we have a lot to talk about. It's just two OCs, but hey. Okay, so I got Flurry, Flurry's design, and I'm like, I'm going to redo that. It's definitely interesting to see how much it's changed, even, like, even if the body doesn't exactly change. More or less, you know, mostly the hands. Okay, so let's talk about Flurry. So, uh, Flurry, okay, so when I did the Lemon Demon video, so, what, what, was, what was his name? Um... Greatly apologize. I don't remember the guy who I modeled the lemon demon off of, but his lemon demon is, you know, a bit chubby. So I had to learn that, yeah. Uh it's mostly covered by his kiss me a kiss the chef apron, but hey. Would you kiss the chef? Anyway. Uh it's it's a bit covered, but yeah, I, I, I drew that. So I thought, you know, for my ex next OC I will make them a wee bit chubby. I don't think I translated it very well. I don't think I did a very good job. Well, she is bigger, like taller, which, like most the, everyone else is like the same size, but she's like slightly bigger. So I should probably like get everybody and like make them like different sizes, even if it's only slightly. I probably should. I was going to do that for this video, but when I made the thumbnail, I instantly went to it, and no, I'm not gonna go back because I'm impatient. And I want to show them off. So yes, um, if I remember next time, I'll get like height differences to make them more interesting. But for now, at least, uh, Flurry is like the biggest. Uh, yeah. Okay, here's my to in, like this transitions to my next talk. What do I do with them? Because this is this friend group is getting a wee bit big. So I think I'm only gonna have Flurry be Lily's friend. But if I keep doing like, oh, it's friends with this friends, but they're not friends with that friend. That's going to get really complicated. So this leads to my other thing. What do I do with them? Because like, this is, this is how the cycle goes. You make an OC, you draw them a little bit, you stop drawing them, you make a new OC, and then it repeats. And I most, like, I'm fine by doing it. I just feel kind of guilty. <laughs> I feel kind of guilty making all these characters and not doing anything with them. But I don't know what to do with them, because I'm like Bragana Doka, where I create the lore, I create the story, I create the economy, you could say. It, that, that's not a good word to use, but the world building. Both these characters, they would be in a very normal world. So it's like, well, what do you do in a normal world? Ah, oh, yes, you do them doing wacky school adventures. Joke's on you, I'm homeschooled. I don't know what that would be like. And even if I did, something tells me it wouldn't be that interesting. So, yeah, I want to make a comic with these guys, but I really don't know how to. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, if I, okay, hear me out. If I were to make a comic, like, I just thought about this right as I'm recording, by the way. If I were to make a comic of, okay, so, you know, Buzzy the Bee, the, uh, the Silly Plans cover, which, first of all, I don't like it. It's, I'm so quiet. It makes me want to, it makes me want to yell. Anyway, uh, the only good thing that came out of that was the artwork, in my opinion, and new lore. Because I thought, eh, Skrill, let's just make this their canon lore. Like, they were online flat friends, and then they became uh, a couple. So if I, like, what if I made a, a comic off of how that happened? Because I don't know how good it would be, but I think it'd be more interesting than the school idea. Would you be interested in that, perhaps? I don't know. That sounds kind of cool. Um, let's actually go on to the next character. Oh, look at her sass. Um, yeah. She, I, I, I got this eye design with, like, uh, eyelash, uh, what was it called? What, eye, eyelashes, eye, I don't know, I gave her free eyelashes on each eye, so, you know. She has a lot of attitude, which I really like. Uh, I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for her. I feel like she would be, like, a popular, I don't know, singer as an example. Would she be a singer? Does she have singer qualities? Mmm, I'm unsure. But, uh, yeah. Something like that. So, I, I really like her attitude. Um, yeah, this one's based off of Sylveon, which I do not have a name for her. Damn it. Anyway, what if I call her, hmm, Sylveon, Sylveon. Let's just call her Siv. That's a fun name. Let's call her Siv. 
Does my ass look like Sailor Moon? Okay, so I drew this just out of spite my sister, because I showed her Civ, and she was like, she looks like something out of Sailor Moon, which I would also like to point out, she doesn't watch Sailor Moon. She's, the only reason she said that is because she, apparently she's getting, like, Sailor Moon YouTube shorts a lot, so that's why she's, it's on the mind, so, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I drew this, and oh my god. It is amazing. She looks like just give her the text and put this for some like passive aggressive quote because oh my god, her face is just perfect and it is hilarious and I love what I have done. <laughs> I, oh boy, it's the uh, Civ's artwork but flipped for the thumbnail art. Although this flurry art is new and very cute. I feel like it got the chubbiness a bit more, but hey. I'm trying my best with different body types. <laughs> um, yeah, I should probably worry about the size thing, because also, for the record, this is inaccurate size. Civ is the size of everyone else right now, but, uh, Flurry is bigger, like, taller. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy this, uh, I feel uh, 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 have a good day.